It was a great show of respect for fallen officers. Hundreds of members of the community and first responders lined the route of a police procession to bring home the bodies of two South Simcoe officers shot dead in an apparent ambush in Innisfil earlier this week. Great. Present Art! With blue and red lights flashing, a procession takes off from the office of the chief coroner in Toronto. Officers from South Simcoe, York Region and the OPP escorting the two hearses to help bring both officers home as first responders stand side by side beneath a Canadian flag to pay their respects. I mean, it's tragic. It's unbelievable. It hurts and it affects us all and that's why today um, we have a very small part. There's not a lot of course we can do but uh, we can be here to support. The procession headed north to two funeral homes in Barrie. Members of the public and dignitaries lined a bridge and watched it in silence. They sacrificed everything to be there for us and their communities. And it's, it's hard. It's really hard. I just hope they know how much they're, they're loved and respected and how much support they've got behind them and that they're not alone. That they're not alone. It's important to our communities at the end of the day to, to show that love and that respect to them and, and their families. Their community is here for them. Um, these are going to be tough times over the next uh, few days, weeks and months. Uh, being here today is just a small a symbol of our appreciation for the work that they do. 33-year-old Constable Devin Northrup was a six-year member of the service. 54-year-old Constable Morgan Russell was with the force for 33 years. The two were fatally shot Tuesday while responding to a disturbance call at a home in Innisfil. The SIU has confirmed the pair did not draw their firearms on the 22-year-old suspected gunman, who was pronounced dead at the scene. An autopsy for the suspect taking place Friday to determine cause of death. The deaths of the two officers marking the third and fourth Toronto area police officers to be killed in the last month. Constable Andrew Hong was shot and killed in a rampage in Mississauga in September. Two days later, Constable Travis Gillespie killed in a head-on crash in Markham while on his way to work. These are things that hit very close to home, obviously, first and foremost for our colleagues in police, but across the whole emergency services field. And, you know, these are, um, these are our heroes in life. There will be a full police funeral for the two officers. The details of the service are still being finalized. In the meantime, a book of condolences has been made available for the public to sign at Innisfil Town Hall. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.